What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shock of the United States Hedgehog, and I want to wish everyone, you, everyone, you, I want to wish everyone out here a very merry, merry, merry Christmas, and I figured I'd do something really special this year. Uh, I want to try to make sure I do this every year, where I'm going to kind of put up a compilation of uh, YouTubers together, and they're YouTubers that I think deserve recognition, deserve shout-outs and stuff like that. And for anyone wondering, my buddies like Brendan, Zach, and all them, I don't have them in this just because I've always done videos for them on my own, per on my own personal time and everything. I want to make videos out to people that are very talented, very amazing, and make amazing content as well. So. If you guys are excited for the birth for these birthday shoutouts, these Christmas shoutouts, this is gonna be my own little special gift for all of these people I'm giving shoutouts to. Uh, they can choose to ignore me and think this is creepy and weird, but hey, it's the thought that counts, and that's what Christmas is all about, right? Yo, hashtag bars right there. Shay, where you at? <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and you know, just have a really good time this year, good time with the video. I hope you guys do get these Christmas chances so, so let's first off kick it off this video might be long this might be you might be that sh might be short who knows but i'm not gonna try to make this a long freaking long video just because you know first up we got the homie just kurt 17 aka kirby my man he is very talented if you guys are looking for someone that can do draft analysis in short periods of time but make them so entertaining just to watch and to listen in the background is simply amazing. This man literally does r nursery rhymes for his draft analysis. He literally did a Christmas theme one for his APA Season 7 team, which, shout outs to him. He's one of the OG members of APA, which is really cool. Um, Kurt is just amazing, man. He's very talented. He is super funny. He has got no filter whatsoever and is just an awesome guy he really is i love watching kurt every time he gets upset and happy he either <laughs> blames someone says this and that and he's just so entertaining really a great battler too like he jokes around and says this and that but he actually has some ex extreme skills in uh the in the game poor man gets hacked a lot i know that feeling and he gets robbed of wins he should have won wait yeah that's how it is but, um, yeah, Kurt's amazing. I've had the honor of facing Kurt when he was, I believe, the Purdue Hurtiers, uh, was one of his old team names. And he beat me with, I believe, a Salakberry Mammal Swine. And I had no idea that was even a thing he was going to do with Mammal Swine. And I got body because of that. Uh, I think there was another time I faced Kurt in a finals, actually, for a Wi Fi tournament, like when Gen 8 was just started out. And we had kind of like a pre draft type of thing with OU Mons and all that. And Kurt beat me with Dragon's Old because I choked away the victory. But at least he beat with an electric type, and that makes me happy. But overall, Kurt's an amazing guy. You guys really should subscribe to him. If you want very talented and detailed story-themed draft analysis, this man is the man for you. You want laughter and you want entertainment, he is the man. He's at 272. We have 29 subs now, which, first off, thank you all so much for 29 subs. That's very much appreciated and very kind of you. We can get this man. 300 subs right now. I want everyone on this channel to sub to Kurt. Let's get him to 300 before the end of the year. The man deserves it. And now we're going to kick it off to their second man, the OG Albino Obunga, as like sometimes we call him. But he's my man, Owen. Uh, Owen, I've actually had the pleasure of playing as well one time. I think one time. I, I, I swear I, got, I feel like we faced off a second time. I just cannot remember for the life of me where I faced him. But uh, me, one time we faced off was in the first ever AP Low Tiers League, and they put Stack Attack in Low Tiers. I know, before you put the picks for it, it's up and everything like that, let me explain. They probably thought it was not that good of a Pokemon in Low Tiers, but I took the opportunity to take it anyways. But uh, I got to face Owen the very first week of the season, and we didn't walk away with a W, but he almost destroyed me with Fur Alligator Reverse Sweep with SD. But, um, yeah, uh, just... Owen's really great, man. If you're looking for someone that's going to give you really good in-depth knowledge of kind of how some stats work and how the Pokemon work and everything like that, you know, he's your, he's your guy, man. He's really, he's very talented. He very knows much what he's doing and saying. 
very talented brother. He's won a couple of the championships here and there. He knows how to play the Mons Rye. He knows how to use it. He's got really good in-depth analysis in terms of how synergy you really want and kind of some just ideas of how you want to build some teams around and everything like that. And, you know, he's also a guy that wants to get the thoughts out of the people, right? Because, like, he actually did this one video, um, uh, this video right here, where he talked about the top ten, like, top five best months of the format. He wanted people's opinion. He didn't want to put his own opinion. He actually wanted the people to get involved with his work and what their personal opinions were about the league format. He's very in-depth. He's now one of the new owners, along with Kurt, of the APA since Panther 2 and... I guess and all the original members, OGs that very much started it up, the league decided to step down and uh, let new people take it in because they were more active and everything like that, which was massive respects to Panther, Manicus, and everyone else out there. Uh, the for Dan, that's who it was, uh, for letting th these guys take it over. They are very good at commissioners, except when Kurt forgets to give Doc access for the Doc and everything else. But anyways, besides that, uh, Owen, amazing battler. If you want someone who's going to be very competitive and uh, kind of relaxed, chilled back occasionally at some times, uh, he's the guy for you. He's very entertaining. He's very fun. And uh, he's got some fire nicknames for his Pokemon, too. Just say He's got some fire nicknames for his Pokemon. But, yeah, uh, Owen's really great. I definitely think you guys should give him some love, send some support, especially since he is not going for APA this season and he's in BBR. BBL this season as well, so definitely uh, give him a lot of his support as he's definitely going to be taking on a lot of stiff competition. Uh, up next we have what's up, my little dinos? Vaps is here. I love that intro. It is so clean and so it just puts a smile on my face, man. It really does. Vaps's intro seriously, single-handedly alone. Puts a smile on my face. I love Vepsis so much. Uh, Vepsis, if you guys are looking to watch someone that dominates the competition, if you are looking to want to watch a pro in action, that is Vepsis. Vepsis is one of the few coaches that I know that probably have probably upwards to like 10 championships. And probably is single-handedly, no disrespect to Shuckle King, is probably the best Wi-Fi player out there. Also, no disrespects to the, the others I mentioned in the features that I've mentioned as well. Vepsis is just skilled at the game. He knows how to make unconventional sets work, and he's actually inspired me to do some unconventional sets that have actually almost worked. Like, Trick Room Play-Doh with Iron Defense, I almost made it work. But Vepsis is extremely talented, very funny, um, you could say he's a potato, but he's really not. He's more of a spud. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> Vepsis is just really fun, man. He, if you're looking for someone that's kind of sometimes real laid, laid, like kind of laid back, doesn't kind of care what he says, just kind of says what's on his mind, just thought process. You know, he's just really fun. He's really in, in a, a bleh. he's a really big joy to entertain and just watch. He's just super really cool. He recently just hit over 300 subs. Massive congrats to him. Let, I think we can get him up towards. To 350 before the end of the year and with owen let's get him up to 650 let's do that let's do that before the end of the year guys uh vepsis very very talented player and just i one day would love the privilege and the honor to face him i know he will 6-0 me and beat me down with anyone he can possibly use but once i get beat down by vepsis i can have bragging rights to say i got beat down by vepsis and now I know a lot of people will be like, why is that a good thing? Because I got to play the very best in the draft league metagame. And he absolutely squashed me. But it was an honor to get squashed by him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, seriously though, Vep's is a really, really talented player. I've actually been loading some comments on his videos. He's actually been coming back with a, you know, thank you for the support. And, you know, he deserves the support, man. He's a very talented player. He recently started coming back. He's kind of here and there a little bit, but, you know, real life takes a big priority in things. And, you know, he's just, you know, he got his mind made up. He's got a little business, and he wants to make sure his content is very flawless. Where His content is amazing, by the way. And the sick intro, sick outro, the little finger snap with the Vano snap, man. Really talented player, and it's just a really overall great person. Now, you want to talk about great people, talented people. And an inspiration 
to not only draft league content or just being a person. This woman we are about to talk about is that inspiration. You don't know who this is. Get your eyes checked. Get your ears fixed. And listen right now. This is the girl, the queen, the dream of dreams. This is Aquarius. And she is so unbelievably talented. She's an amazing draft league player. She is an amazing person overall. And she is a very big inspiration for a lot of guys and girls that have went through things that she kind of goes through with the whole topic, which if you guys watch this final product she did, which I personally watched, it was very inspirational and very moving. I loved this. I recommend you guys watch it, especially if it was for her final of her college, which that was me clapping, congratulating her, obviously. Um, she's just an amazing person, everyone. She is just very talented. She likes to act kind of like shy a little bit, which I think is just really adorable. Her, you know, she's just really, really fun. She's just a really joy to watch. You know, she started up CGT with the champion of Gallers League, which for one, I think that was first off that was an amazing idea to have the best of the best battle out to become king or queen of Generation Eight, and just have just such a big banger blowout, which it totally was, and it was the one of the best leagues ever to watch out there and stuff like that and just overall like she's just very smart very wise you know she's learned to kind of take content push it aside for her own personal life you know she took a break to go t chase a dream job that she was doing over the summer which congratulations to her for that job you know she's finishing college now which major congratulations to her i know that's an amazing amazing accomplishment for anyone out there so if you guys can, show your love to her. She deserves so much more than 300 subs. I personally think she deserves to get over 1,000, hit monetization, and that way she can get paid to do YouTube. I think she would be so perfect for a job like this, to be so informative, teach, and everything. She is just so talented, guys. Not to mention, if you get the lovely chance to see her face in the face cam videos, she is beautiful as well. Just show the love to her i got the honor to face her she absolutely stomped on me in that match with special gyarados which shout outs to that i didn't have a staff move <laughs> but um you know just the fact that i got to play her was also an honor and everything like that and i still to this day will say that is one of the biggest uh honoring experiences in my draft league career is being able to play her because no disrespect to owen obviously but Facing Aquarius has been like the highest level pro player I've ever faced. And being able to say I lost at least 3 0 to her really showed I made a really good stride and almost made the comeback too. But I knew I was going to get flat by her in finals. But uh, would still love the honor to get flat by her again in finals. But still love the chance to play her again. She's just very talented. And please, guys, please show her the love. She deserves 350. But I really would love to see her hit that big 500 goal at least to start. So let's hopefully get her up there, guys. Now, this is a man that if you want to watch, has got absolute no care, no filter of what he's going to tell you or say to you. If you're looking for a man that loves playing the draft league metagame, more importantly, just loves clicking one button per Pokemon, this is your button man right here. It is the man. The man that's not a rapper but knows how to rap. It is the homie Shay Quaza. This man is the definition of talent, humor, and overall entertainment. This man is very talented. You got I actually had the honor of being able to play Shay just recently. I had to flinch Shay in order to beat him, and I knew I had to because I was my only way to win because I would not prep the best against him. Um, but I did get to face Shay. I did get to um, have to go for a flinch against him. And uh, whether I got the flinch or not, 
it's up to you guys. Uh, yeah, she's going to probably find out through that video. I'm not going to spoil any results, but I had the honor to play Shay, and I even told Shay himself that it was a real treat to play him. And when I said that to Shay, I 100% meant that. For you guys to know, the reason why I say it's a real treat to face Shay, Shay is one of those guys that when you watch, you think to yourself, what on earth is this guy saying? Why is he talking or anything? It's just him being him and not caring what he says on the internet. Well, obviously he cares because sometimes he makes little posts where it just kind of explains a couple of things. But sometimes I think it's kind of rude that he has to explain himself to people when he's just being who he is, just being himself. But he does it just for the contents and, you know, wants to make sure everyone doesn't see their sour feelings or anything like that. So, which, mad respect to Shay there. And you know what? Shay doesn't care losing. Like, he's the one guy in the mindset who, I mean, he kind of gets a little eh about losing. But if he gets to press buttons and gets to show off the tech, he ends up being the winner of that battle. In his mind. And he honestly, again, does not care losing. He'd rather lose by clicking buttons than lose by hacks and be upset with that. This is a man that shows you that if you can at least click buttons, you can be okay losing. And when you draft mons that just click buttons, you can win. That's his inspirational quotes for a lot of people out there. <laughs> Overall, I love Shay. I, thought, I also respect the fact that this man, when he puts in his wrapping into his draft analysis... Or his draft anals, as he likes to call them. I give him mad respect because, for first off, guys, you gotta think about it. But just like Kurt doing these raps and everything like that, they're not easy. They are hard. As someone that had to do rapping for some Spanish class and has done kind of a little bit of rapping in the past, it is not hard. I, I've actually written a song myself once, and. Finding words that rhyme and just go with a flow on the beat, it is hard. It is so much harder than you might think it is. And so I give mad respect to Shay for the rapping skills he can do. And also just the mad skills he has as a battler. He is an APA Academy champion, which is a very impressive feat, especially since APA does have some of the best content. Creators out there, even though he was in a little bit of lower division, there were still really big battlers in that division he had the honor of facing. And now he's in the big leagues of APA main season, which massive congratulations to him. He's going to have like the honor to face people like Kelly under the radar. He's going to be facing off against the homies, Just Kurt and OG Albina, you know, Matt O'Shea and all them stuff. All them guys and all that everything. And I'm just so really happy for Shea. I think Shea definitely deserves it. Now, if you're wanting a man, to hit a dream goal. This man is simply asking to hit 300 subs on his YouTube before the end of the year. I know six people of mine that would love to watch Shay and would hit that subscribe button for him. Subscribe to Shay. He's really great, really fun. Name other man that would put a mascot where he has a Tangela wearing a cowboy hat. Named Boots. Tell me where you can't find entertaining content by just that profile picture. Also with the fact that he's the biggest money supporter along with Mike Bell. But anyways, Shaquaza, fantastic guy. Really would like to get him to know more and play more against him as well. He's just a super great battler as well. Especially with some very creative and fun nicknames as well. But yeah, um, that is the special little Christmas present shout out video I would love to give to these five content creators. And if anyone's wondering if I'm picking them just because I think they're better than other people or they're my all-time favorites or anything like that, it's not that. This honestly, in this is me, I'll be 100% honest. I am not faking this. This is no script, no nothing. These are people that I do have a small live of communications with. Like Shay, we're kind of like good pals right now. We're not really close or anything like that. Same with Aquarius, you know, we're decent buddies and everything that we don't talk as much. You know, Owen and Kurt kind of have that same little vibe where we kind of chit-chat every once in a while. Vepsis, Vepsis just kind of acknowledges me in the comments section. But hey, it's acknowledgement that I appreciate at least as well. These are people that I am not super close with. And, you know, one day I would love to be super close with. Say they're my friends, go visit them and hang out with them one day and everything. But these are people I think honestly deserve so much more love and support on their channels and just who they are as content creators. 
because they're amazing people. They truly are. They will. I'm telling you guys, I would not shout them out if they had content that was amazing. They have content that is so good. They deserve, and honestly, in my opinion, they deserve to be all monetized and be able to be paid to do YouTube. To freaking privilege us with the presence and the talent and the content they provide. And... Honestly, they are just very talented, and I wish nothing but the absolute best for their futures, for your guys' Christmases as well, except for poor Shay. He's going to be melting alive down there, but he's going to hang 10 for everybody there. But, yeah, again, to Just Kurt, OG Albino, Vepsis, Aquarius, and Shay Quaza, please check them all out. Their YouTube descriptions will be down in the description itself, and I really applaud that you all give them love, give them a shout-out, and just give them a chance to subscribe to their channel, watch some of their previous content, to feel like if they get your feel, your edge, your eh, eh, nah, you know? So, yeah, please subscribe to them. Please give them some love and support. And I hope all of you do enjoy this Christmas present. And I really hope you all uh, have a great uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. And I hope you guys have a fantastic uh, twenty rest of 2021. And a great, hopefully the great start of 2022 starts out really amazing. And to all my Full Shocker guys out there, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you don't do. And I'll see you all next time. Until next time, everybody. Peace.